was born at the end of the innocent age One dead president turned the page Till 64 we thought we had it all The new American dream became hard to recall So now I push the button, pull the chain Flipping through the channels and rock my brain An American dream and I'm running away to A time where things would get a little better someday Outdoorsman's Adventures, brought to you by Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter. Winchester Ammunition, we don't just make ammunition, we use it just like you for hunting and shooting. South Dakota's Missouri River Tourism, come and explore the Missouri River of South Dakota. Northland Fishing Tackle, the fisherman's favorite. Country Vet Dog Food, loved by pets, trusted by owners. Frable, trusted fishing gear since 1938. Wrangler Pro Gear, it's always hunting season around here. Offshore Tackle, the leader in trolling technology. Pheasants Forever, the Habitat Conservation Organization. Zipple Bay Resort, set your hook on a great vacation on Minnesota's Lake of the Woods. South Dakota Tourism and visit Watertown. Grossenberg Implement, your full service John Deere dealer, serving Northeast Nebraska and South Central South Dakota since 1937. Outdoorsman Adventures. Today we're with Team Outdoorsman Adventure member Doug Haas. We're on the Jim River, Doug. We've been doing this for a few years, doing some catfishing, and we're going to give it a shot again this year. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Water's fairly high today. Uh, they did shut down some of the uh, flow out of the pipe stem dam up in North Dakota and the Jamestown Dam. So the water conditions are kind of receding a little bit, but uh, still got fairly high water and, and lots of snags again this year after the big floods we've had over the few last years. That, uh, Things have changed a little bit, but uh, yeah, we're going to give it a shot. It's been good. We've been catching a lot of catfish, and uh, I suspect we're going to catch quite a few today. Well, I hope so. And there's two species here. Uh, primarily, we're we're looking at probably mainly channel cat, but we could catch a few uh, few flatheads. We'll be using stink bait and uh, cut bait. I think you've got a skipjack, and I've got some creek chub. We'll see if we can show the folks back home a little bit of the of the excellent catfishing that is on the Jim River, yep. all the way from. Yep. North Dakota clear down the Missouri River. Yes, it is. Try a variety of methods, see what we can do. Sounds good. Well, we appreciate you coming with us, and uh, let's go see if we can't show the folks some fishing. Super. Coming on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they had a pretty good die-off last winter down here of those really? silvers. But there's a few around. You'll see a bunch of them in a couple areas down here. The river had changed since the flood several years ago as many of the log jams were pushed downstream along with some of the fish that had been in the stretch of the river. And we're going to try some of these today. Little crawdads. Brought a few of them along just to a friend of mine's been catching a lot of cats on uh, crawdads late, lately, so we're going to give them a shot. This is uh, what they call stink bait, and if you've ever been around it, it's uh, pretty obvious why they call it that. But boy, it does work on catfish. We're using Sonny's catfish uh, stink bait out of Iowa. It works really well, but yuck. <laughs> It'll clean your sinuses as well as catching catfish. 
and we'll see what see what they prefer the most. Yeah. So. Need a net? I don't know. I've got him up there. I don't think he's that big. He's right behind the boat. Oh yeah, there he is. He didn't have a line, of course. Yeah. Which way can I go to get him out, or can I? Yeah, it's a start. Yep, that's a start. Steak bait strikes again. Yep. We wanted it too. Kind of wow. That's a that's a decent fish for the steak yeah, bait. Yeah, it is. Compared to, what I, compared to what I caught him. Look at that stuff coming out of him. <laughs> Yuck! Look at that. <laughs> I have to cut his head off to get it out. <laughs> I'll just stay out of your way. You just catch fish. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of the opposite of last time. So it is my turn, isn't it? It is your turn, actually. <laughs> It is I'm just, you know, I, I believe in sharing. <laughs> yeah. Good one? Another little one. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure enough. Not quite as big as yours. Yep. Another, another. buggers jerk. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> another tiny one. If you're looking for excellent fishing, hunting, boating, and vacation destinations, you'll want to come and experience South Dakota's Missouri River on Lakes Oahe, Sharp, Francis Case, and Lewis and Clark, where you'll find great fishing, hunting, boating, and vacation destinations. Check out South Dakota Missouri River Tourism at sdmissouririver.com. Every decoy to me looked alike. You know, you had football shaped decoys. So we went to an actual bird carver to have him carve birds rather than decoys. And then we made the molds off of the, the original carvings. Don't compromise realism for durability. Now you can have both. DakotaDecoy.com You've been fishing and hunting for years. When you finally get that trophy of a lifetime, let Tennis Taxidermy, Watertown, South Dakota, create a lifelike mount that you'll be proud to display. With over 17 years experience, Sean Tennis has brought hunters and anglers trophies to life, giving them the opportunity to relive their trips of a lifetime for years to come. Sean Tennis, a full-time taxidermist, creating one lifelike trophy at a time. This portion of Outdoorsman Adventures is brought to you by Hitches, Trailers, and More, Sioux City, Iowa. There he is! Oh my goodness! This is a bigger fish. Oh yeah. Do me a favor, would you Gary, get that other rod out of the way here if you would. James River for catfish, he's all beat up. And... Yes, he is too. Oh, come on now. All Got him. Good deal. Oh, he seems like he's better though. Yeah. I think he's a better fish than what you have in the four. I'll get this out of your way here, Gary. Nothing on there anyway. 
Well, look, you need a net, don't you? Okay. Maybe not. That place. Decent fish. Oh, Nothing wrong with that. Sure. Yeah, he's not a bad fish. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Skipping across the surface already. <laughs> Holy cow. There you go. Really? That's, that's what's staying with my bait. How can you can't even get it in your mouth? <laughs> that's probably what's killing all This that. is what they start out with. Beggars. Pretty small. Come on. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more Outdoorsman Adventures after these words from our sponsors. State of Fish. Experience the outdoor paradise and world-class hospitality of Watertown. South Dakota, there's no place like it. Chuck Cross Guide Service, South Dakota hunting and fishing at its best. South Dakota is a world-class destination for those who love hunting ringneck pheasants. Krauss Guide Service has the land, excellent habitat, the birds, and the accommodations to make your next hunt one to remember. Krauss Guide Service has it all and also offers a combination hunting and fishing trip as late season walleye fishing is some of the best there is. For the hunt of a lifetime, it's Chuck Krauss Guide Service, Gettysburg, South Dakota. Graham Tire is my tire store next door. Why should you buy your next tires from Graham Tire? You always get the lowest price guarantee on all the quality brands they sell. Graham Tire guarantees its prompt, professional service and backs it with a nationwide warranty for service after the sale, no matter where you are. The next time you need tires, come to my tire store next door. Graham Tire. Quality products, professional people, legendary service. Graham Tire. This portion of Outdoorsman Adventures is being brought to you by Bitter Lake Lodge, Campground, Convenience Store, Bait Shop, Lounge Supper Club, Boat Launch, on Bitter Lake in Northeast South Dakota, home of the hottest walleye and perch fishing around. With all the time we spend traveling, filming in the field and in the water, we come across a lot of great places, great products and gear. Here's one of those that we thought you might be interested in and could help to make your next trip into the outdoors a more productive outdoor adventure. When it comes time to measure that big one, the Eagle 34-inch measuring board can do the job. Constructed from 3 16th inch anodized aluminum plate with accurate measuring lengths of 1 16th inch increments, the Eagle measuring board is laser etched, durable, and will hold up under the toughest conditions. The Ego Ultra Grip Tool with its stainless steel jaws, its quick trigger action will allow you to hold and weigh even the toothiest of fish. Constructed of anodized aluminum, it's made to last. With its stay built scale built into the handle, you're able to weigh fish up to 25 pounds and then with just a flick of the finger, drop the fish into your live well or release it to fight another day. Transporting fish to the weigh-in or cleaning station can be a problem, but not anymore, as the Ego Tournament weigh-in bag with its 8-gallon capacity will solve all your problems. Constructed of a 20 mil clear urethane material that's RF sealed for zero leaks with strong woven nylon carrying handles, you'll be able to move the fish out of your live well, keeping them lively on the way to the weigh-in. Let's see, what are we doing? <laughs> <I'm> not. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, 
You might want to just fish one rod anymore. <laughs> Oh, yeah. There's, There's a flathead flat right there. Wow. Yeah. Yellow. Yep. That was on that, that old truck. No what? kidding. Yep. Okay, where are we at here? This is what they call a little a yellow cat or a flathead. See the way his head is? He's just a baby. He's a lot bigger. I think a state record comes out of the gym, doesn't it, for flatheads? Yes. I'm yes, mistaken. It and it was a lot bigger than this, oh, believe yeah. me. Yeah, but that's a little a little flat. We'll let him go back. 50, 50 60 pounds eventually. Yeah. And the other ones we were catching, they were they were channel cats, so but that's probably the smallest yellow or flat I've ever caught, so. Alright, now this is you saw the last one, yellow, and he had a real flat head. This is channel cat. This is primarily what we're catching. Channel cat are primarily caught on, on dead bait, where uh, flatheads are, they, they seem to prefer live bait, so. I'm not real happy about all that noise. Pretty small. Yep, that's a little guy. That's what I think we've got here in this spot, is a lot of little fish. Here the other day was lots of action. Top Gun Hunting Ranch for some of the finest in pheasant hunting. Lifelong memories are waiting to be made in the fields and wetlands of Top Gun Hunting Ranch. With excellent bird numbers, first class accommodations, seasoned guides, and championship quality dogs, the folks at Top Gun are focused on giving you a memorable quality South Dakota pheasant hunt. Top Gun Hunting Ranch, Howard, South Dakota. Offshore planer boards move your baits off to the side and away from the boat, allowing you to quickly and easily spread your lines out. It will pull the flag down if you get a weed or a small fish or the big fish that you're targeting so that you'll know you have a bite. Offshore side planers are ideal for a walleye and most freshwater fish. Be prepared when you hit the water. Purchase your offshore tackle products at your local dealer or order online at www.offshoretackle.com. This portion of Outdoorsman Adventures is brought to you by Outdoorsman Magazine, covering the outdoors in South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Process of retying, and of course, that's the way it goes. Yep. Yeah, that's a decent fish. That's on, that's on stink bait there. That's pretty good fish for stink bait.
<laughs> there we go. Okay. Yep, that's a decent fish there. That's what we were liking. Hey, at least was at least was only hooked in the, in the jaw and not in the Oh yeah, he didn't do it all day. Right. <laughs> yeah, another little little Yeah. Yep, it's a little bit. Pheasant Fest, talking with Gary Kubitschek about country vet pet foods. What makes his pet food so special? We use the same science on our biscuits that we do in our dog food, and that's an extrusion process where we actually grind all the ingredients and we apply heat and we actually cook the product. I can't feed it if the guys in the plant don't make it right every time. That's the biggest thing with country vet is I know it's going to never let me down. Looking for a year-round vacation destination that has everything the hunter and fisherman has been looking for? Well, look no further. Zippo Bay on beautiful Lake the Woods has it all. Excellent accommodations featuring cabins, log homes, swimming pool, boat rental, and charter boat fishing. Lake of the Woods, a world-class fisheries, offer the best chance for trophy walleye and northern pike in the Midwest. In the winter, there's ice fishing in heated ice houses, dark houses, and tip-up houses with sleeper houses also available. Zippo Bay has everything the fisherman, hunter, and family vacationer is looking for. Since 1967, Christensen Well and Irrigation has been serving Nebraska and South Dakota. A family-owned and operated business that can take care of all your water needs. From start to finish, Christensen Well and Irrigation can do it all. For over 20 years, Christensen Well and Irrigation has been installing TNL Center Pivot Irrigation Systems. Proven technology that works. One call does it all. This portion of Outdoorsman Adventure is brought to you by Rax Big Game Supplements, the only effective attractant and true nutritional supplements for healthy herds and impressive racks. Small fish again. It's like another little flathead. No, it actually, no, it's a, it's a. And would you catch him? Uh, stink bait. Yeah. yeah, it is a channel. Yeah. So, yeah, it looked like it had the darker look to it as it was coming in. Yep. I like what we caught before. Yeah. This might be a little bit better don't have the current here like we did before. Yeah, good fish. He's decent. Oh, yeah, nice. he's decent. So, yeah, he picked it up and he was kind of running towards the boat. So I really didn't hardly even feel like I had a hit there. Well, they didn't really hear that stink bait, don't they? Oh, they do. Every single one of them you got to use the yeah. pliers to get the bait out. You want to keep him, Gary? Yeah, we're going to keep him. Yep. Put him in. Yeah. There you go. Put him on the creek trucks. 
<laughs> you can talk for a minute. On this trip we caught a lot of fish. We didn't end up with any big fish, but we ended up with enough for a good meal. Hey, I'd like to thank Doug for joining us again on the show, to thank our sponsors, and to thank you folks for watching. We'll see you next time when we head out for another of our Outdoorsman Adventures. Let us not forget that freedom isn't free, and to take time to thank our veterans for all that they've done for us. Oh, <laughs> honey.